<laughs> Frank's got it way too good as a barber. He's got his booked out clientele, making money. Hell, he's even indulging in the pleasures he even once dreamed about before he even started cutting hair. <clears throat> this fool doesn't even have a fucking care in the world. He wakes up, cuts hair, go to sleep, and repeats. This fool is like, ah, the good life. Then 15 years goes by. Literally nothing has changed. Frank is still in the same barbershop, still making the same amount of money, and overall he's miserable. He thought if he just stayed complacent this whole time, that everything would be fine. That he could literally just save money by being consistent. He failed to account for the unforeseen bills, payments, and expenses that life literally just threw at him. He has a wife, two kids, and even more fucking bills on top of that. He can't even enjoy his life like he used to because all of his extra money he would spend on partying and traveling now goes to food, bills, and diapers. The worst part is Frank knows he fucked up. I mean, the last 15 years, he's had every opportunity to grow, to progress and scale his business, but instead he took the path of comfort thinking everything would be okay. Alexander was watching everything that Frank was doing for the last 15 years and was disgusted. As a businessman, Alexander knew it was his sole focus to grow and scale, not bathe in the rewards of the small profits cutting hair would get him. While Frank spent his money on vacations and partying, Alexander spent his money on courses and education to push himself and his business forward. <laughs> While well, Frank took time off because he fucking deserved it, Alexander was putting in overtime work to get his business up to 20K per month from just cutting hair. Doable? Absolutely. Easy? Not at all. But Alexander knew he didn't want to be a barber forever. He literally saw every barber around him setting themselves up just for an average future. And, and let's be honest, Alexander did not become a barber just to be average. He became a barber to put himself and his family in a better position financially. Is six figures alone per year gonna do that? Absolutely not. It's a good start, but it's not the final destination. And he treated barbering as such. Because this, Alexander was able to retire from barbering in four years. When I, now, when I say retiring, I don't mean he just went to the Bahamas and kicked back and was smoking weed all day. No, 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 no. He took all of that cash he saved up from cutting hair. He took all of the knowledge from the courses and education he spent his hard-earned money on and cultivated a skill set that would allow him to build the next business that would give him to seven or eight figures per year. And guess what? After he does that, he's gonna take all the money he makes from that next business, invest it into more higher level education and building new skill sets, finish that business, and move on to the next. And then he rinses and repeats. Why? Because that's the decision he made when he decided to become a businessman in the first place. He wanted to be top of the top, not middle of the pack average fucking Joe. When he first started, he had huge dreams and desires that he wanted to accomplish. And just a small chunk of money that he made just from cutting hair is not enough to sway him off of the goals he set for himself. Alexander has urgency in his life, something that Frank is sorely missing. And at that 15 year mark, Alexander will be living life he always envisioned for himself. <laughs> while Frank is still stuck behind the damn chair, miserable, wishing he could start over and make a different decision. Now, I hate to break it to you, but you've probably been complacent for a while. And you know that what you agreed upon as your goal can't allow you to be complacent. It's what the majority or basically the average of barbers are typically like. They have big dreams, have hustle and motivation out the asshole. Yet once they get booked out, get just a little bit of money, they lose that edge. They lose that drive to do more, to do better. And they allow 15 years of their life to go by without a single ounce of progress forward. I'm willing to bet you know some guys who've done that. Me personally, I was that way for two years. And it wasn't until I gave myself a rude slap in the face one day to wake the fuck up and shake myself out of that mental slump and find a reason why to move forward and why I need to progress. And I, I won't lie to you, it, it's hard. It's difficult to grow and push forward when just staying still complacent is honestly, all right. Here's what complacency will get you. It will fuck you when you have an unexpected bill. It will suck you dry when you start a family and realize how much money a child takes away from you in order to support. That unexpected death will hit you when you're not prepared and puts you into a financial bind. Hell, maybe you've already experienced that. If you have, good. You have a taste of something I don't think you will ever want to experience again. And that will give you a reason, a why you need to start growing the business. If you haven't experienced any of that, then this might be a little bit hard to grasp because you have nothing to compare it to. Life literally has not fucked you over yet. But maybe you have a family member that went through a similar issue. Maybe your parents went through something, so you had to watch them go through that. My question is, why would you want to be the same as them? Why would you want to go through those same hardships? Why would you not want to avoid all that? The whole point of evolution is to evolve past the prior generation. Not stay complacent, not stay in the same tax bracket, not stay in the same city, not stay at the same income level, and not stay in the same quality of life. Now, it's simple. To get out of that, you're gonna have to sacrifice your laziness, 
comfort and complacency. Here's the main message I want you to take away from this. You're not done till you retire from cutting hair. Doesn't matter if you raise a price, doesn't matter if you increase your income, doesn't matter if you get a new client that pays you a hundred bucks. You're still behind the chair and you're not done until you're retired. Make the damn decision to stack up 100K in the bank post-tax money. That means that's your money. You already paid Uncle Sam his share. That is your money to keep as fast as you humanly can. Please just don't waste time like everybody else does in the industry, unless you want to be average like they are, because you know you're better. I know you are better and you're not done. So let's fucking go.